Welcome back to Diana in the Pink. My name is Diana. I'm a physician assistant. I specialize in women's health and gynecology. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to increase your milk supply. But before we get started, let me know in the comment section if you are a first time mommy, a fifth time mommy, or maybe if you are still pregnant, or if you just wandered onto this video curious about breastfeeding. That's totally okay too. I love reading your comments, so make sure to let me know where you're coming from. So breastfeeding is wonderful for both you and your baby, but it does come with its challenges. One of those is simply just making sure you are making enough breast milk. Now, unless you are exclusively pumping and then feeding your baby breast milk with a bottle, it's hard to know exactly how much milk your baby is getting. So instead of trying to guess how many ounces of milk your baby is getting when they're nursing, watch your baby for signs that they are getting enough breast milk. So real quick, let's talk about those signs. They are very comforting once you recognize them. So first, note how often they are nursing. They should be nursing around every two to three hours in the beginning. You'll want to also pay attention to how often the baby is wetting a diaper. By one week old, your baby should be wetting around five diapers a day and having around two to five poopy diapers in a day. And that's a very reassuring thing to see. Now when they're nursing, you should be able to hear them swallowing and gulping. And often you can see like a little bit of milk at the corner of their mouths. Before the baby feeds, you'll have a full breast, which will be bigger and harder because it's full of milk. But after the baby feeds, the breast should be smaller and softer since the baby has now emptied your breast. Now you don't have to rely just on these signs because at your pediatrician's office, they are gonna weigh your baby and keep track of their weight each visit to make sure your baby is growing as they should. Now be aware that it's pretty typical for a newborn to lose a little bit of weight right after they are born but by 10 to 14 weeks, your baby should be right back up to their birth weight. Also keep in mind that there can be some factors that will decrease how much milk your body is producing. Some of these are just totally out of your control and some of these are things you might be doing that can decrease your supply. So first off, if your baby is feeding less than average, so if they're feeding less than eight to 16 times in a 24 hour period, your milk supply will start to drop. If your baby has a weak suck or they can't latch properly, or if you are supplementing with bottles, and this is something I wanna talk about for a second real quick. Some moms get nervous when they find out that their newborn is losing weight and they think that they aren't making enough for their baby, so they supplement with a bottle, but this is actually worse for your milk supply since the baby will not wanna eat as much from the breast, and I'm to talk about that a little bit more here in a bit. Smoking can also decrease your supply. Certain birth control pills, like the combination pills, can make your milk supply go down. Also, if you're not taking care of your body, you're not getting adequate sleep, you're not getting enough nutrition, these can also decrease your milk supply. Sometimes women who are trying to lose the baby weight too quickly by cutting their calories might decrease their supply as well. Nipple shields might affect the milk supply or if you happen to get pregnant again. Also, breast reduction surgery surgeries might affect how much milk your body is making. So if your milk supply is low, there are definitely things that you can do to help with this. So I have three tips for you. The first tip is the biggest and easiest thing you can do to increase your milk supply, and that is to nurse more often and pump more often. Your breast produces milk on a supply and a demand basis. So if your baby is nursing more and if you're pumping more, that signals the breast to make more kind of wish my bank account would do the same thing. So when your breasts are frequently being emptied, that signals the brain that, hey, we aren't keeping up with the supply that this baby needs and we need to make more milk and it ramps up the milk supply. If the breasts are sitting full more often, the part that part of the brain that re regulates milk production kind of kicks back like, yeah, we're doing our jobs. We don't need to make more milk or even, whoa, the breasts are full. The baby isn't needing as much time to start making less milk. So breastfeed often, breastfeed on both breasts each time you nurse, and that might take a little bit of effort if your baby falls asleep after nursing on one side. If that happens, try to wake them up, give them some kisses, change their diaper. Uh, you can undress them and give them some skin on skin time, which also can help increase your milk production as well. And then feed them on the other side. And you wanna try to get them to feed for 15 minutes on each side. When they're done nursing, 
pump on each breast. This also stimulates the breast to make more milk. Even if nothing comes out when you pump because you're empty, that is still telling your body it needs to make more milk. If you have a double breast pump, pumping at the same time has been shown to increase breast milk more than pumping on one side at a time. Another pumping technique you can try is something called power pumping, or some people like to call it a cluster pumping. And it's really kind of what the name implies. It's like a power hour dedicated to pumping. It's designed to mimic your baby's cluster feeding. So here's how it works. So after you finish nursing, you get a pump and a big glass of water and find a quiet place to sit. And you pump in a sequence that starts with 20 minutes, and then you rest for 10 minutes, pump for 10 minutes, rest for 10 minutes, and then pump once more for 10 minutes and then you're done. So you are getting 40 minutes of pumping and 20 minutes of rest in that 16 minute time frame. This can help to boost your progress by repeatedly emptying your breasts in a short period of time. You can do this once a day, it doesn't matter if it's in the evening or the morning, till your supply is where you want it to be. And it usually takes anywhere from three to five days. Tip number two, make sure you are getting enough calories. You need more calories each day when you are breastfeeding, like 500 more calories a day, because your body is using those calories to make breast milk. So you need to eat accordingly. There are so many things that can get in the way of that, like some women feel like eating less because they have postpartum depression, by the way, if you are dealing with that, make sure to talk to your OB and I'll be doing a video about that shortly as well. But back to eating calories. Some new moms feel busy, they feel overwhelmed, and they neglect taking care of themselves, including not eating properly. And then some mommies are overly anxious to lose their baby weight, and so they start cutting calories. This can decrease your supply, so just be aware of that. You need to make sure you are getting adequate calorie intake. Tip number three, drink a big glass of water every time you breastfeed. Now I learned this from my mom and my family, my kids, my husband, they're all so sweet, they know this too, that if I ever sit down to nurse and I don't have my water bottle with me, they will automatically bring me a glass of water. Your body needs to stay hydrated. You're losing fluid every time you breastfeed and you have to replenish that. Rather than trying to keep track of a certain amount of fluid, for me it was just simply fluids out, fluids in. So whenever I'm nursing, I drink a big glass of water. A few other things you can do, if you're smoking, try to quit. And I will link to some resources for you in the video description. You can talk to your OB about trying herbs like fenugreek or alfalfa or oats. We don't know that they really help or not, but they're probably not gonna hurt, but still talk to your OB about it. And if you've tried everything and nothing is working, you can also talk to your OB about medications that they can prescribe that might help you with your milk supply. And also, get in touch with your lactation specialist. They absolutely can help you out as well. Finally, keep in mind that there are factors totally out of your control that might make the whole breastfeeding experience difficult. Now, I've said this before, but if for whatever reason you do your very best but you aren't able to keep up your milk supply or something else keeps you from breastfeeding your baby, please offer yourself some grace because at the end of the day, as long as your baby is fed, you are doing an amazing job as mommy. You will bond with your baby and your baby will bond with you and whether you breastfeed or bottle feed, your baby is gonna look up at you with the same adoring eyes. You are enough for them, please remember that. Now, if you like what we talked about here in this video, you can let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more content about women's health, mommyhood, and pregnancy, subscribe. Now, if you want to know more tips on how to help with breastfeeding in general, I've done a video that dives deep into common problems with breastfeeding. I'm gonna put a link to that right here. Click on that, and I will see you over there.